stay tuned, as we'll be back tomorrow evening to update you with more details from the case. Or, if you can't wait and want to stay up to date, please use our app or follow our Twitter. For now, that's all we have time for, but we will be back at 6, so please come back for any news updates, and we'll go to Holly with the weather. And as always, I'm Daniel Harrington. And I'm Harper Campbell. Goodbye. You know, whatever update mm. we're going to be giving tomorrow, it's not going to be a good one. Yeah. I mean, from the searches, it's... You don't go to all that trouble to hide something for no reason. I mean, if they're going to widen the search, they're going to find it. Yeah, guess so. You guess? Do you not care at all about what's going to happen? It's been months. Yeah, I know. Because it's all anyone talks about. I don't know, it's just like a... TV show that's gone on for too long and I'm ready for the next season. This is the biggest piece of evidence so far. How do you not care? I mean, the poor family. I just say what I need to. Wow. So sympathetic. Look, you can read for the poor family all you like. If all I want to do is show up, have my coffee, and read my lines, and that's all I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm aware. Hey, I get paid the same for it anyway. Despite how much more work I put in. <laughs> the only reason you have your adoring fans is because I do the research that ends up on your auto queue. I mean, yeah, but no one reads it quite like I do, do they, Alps? Look, no offense, but I don't think it's your incredible journalism that keeps my fans coming back. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh, come on, Hops. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that, Mark. That's, that's given us a good leg up. Honestly, big one. Big one. Thank you so much. Yeah, excellent job, mate. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's coming in now, so I'll let him know. Cool. Okay, bye. Excellent work, guys. Honestly, that was great. I mean, it's horrible stuff, but... You two, just great TV. Great Thank TV. you, boss. You know how it is. Yeah. All in a day's work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. I mean, I, it was really hard to research. Yeah, I mean, I, look, it was obvious he had something to do with it. I mean, it doesn't take a detective to work out. That's a dodgy family. Yeah, just look at him. Yeah. Anyway, on that note, Michael Hoxton just agreed to do a Friday interview. It's all a bit confidential now, a bit hush-hush, but Mark Sullivan just got off the phone. He's seen your work, he loves it, and he's given you access. So if he squeals with any kind of gory stories, anything like that, we'll be the first to report it. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Interview with a killer. Statement from the man who murdered his wife and kids. It's gonna be a hit. We, d we don't know that he did it. But, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out on the Friday, you know. Dan, he's gonna tell us everything. Give us all the headlines. It's just Daniel. Yeah, I mean, Mark is quite selective about these things, you know, and Dan's just got the face for it, the serious stuff. I think people just trust someone strong like Dan. And, and look, obviously there'll be stuff for you to cover. Um, I think there's a dog show on the, on the same day, yeah, and that'll be nice, cheer everyone up. The dog show? Yeah, yeah, people love dogs. You know, it's lightweight content. You know, viewers love you for that. They really do. And, and, and I mean, I don't know how many people are going to be watching because of this, but I've got to do something for the old biddies, you know? Right. I just, I, I wanted to talk to you about some maybe other projects that I've been researching. Other yeah, um, yeah, we can talk about that at some point. It's just you said that there was a slot that's opened up and I feel as though I've done more than enough work. Yeah, um, I'm busy this week. Loads of meetings this week. Um, so let's put a pin in it for now um, and I'll get back to you. Right, I'm off. Dan, walk with me. We've got a lot to discuss. Yeah, Friday, yeah, <laughs> Thank you for the big opportunity, oh, boss. No, no <laughs> worry, I hardly had to pull any strings. It was great.
Hey. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'll be there in 20 minutes. I couldn't believe it when he said that. I, I can just hear the races ringing in my ears oh, at this point. I mean, it's not a full-blown confession, oh, but come it's on. pretty close. It's close enough. He yeah. was crying. Yeah. Honestly, if you could have seen my face. It, <laughs> it, was, it was great. It's just great stuff. Honestly, this could change everything. Dan, it already has. Look, <laughs> your career is going to skyrocket. I can <laughs> guarantee it. Oh, Harper, um, oh. what about the dog show? How did that go? You didn't watch my report. No, 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 I've been busy with the Michael Hoxton stuff, you know. It's pretty, pretty intense. Mm -hmm. um, all good, I presume. I mean, it's not the same as breathing the air of a serial killer, but... Unless you had a rabbit shih tzu running around. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, nothing like that. But I did actually want to talk to you because I've been doing some research about things that I think we could bring into the show. Oh, and... sorry. Um, I have to get this, Harper, sorry. Um, we'll... Um, talk at some point. I'll call you maybe next week, possibly. Um, hello, I'm Adrian Scott. Yeah, no. No, no, I, I requested absolutely not. Um, if you could look... Okay, go on then. Tell me about Michael Hoxton. Oh my god, it was insane. Honestly, when he said that,
I'm Harper Campbell and I'm in the field doing some research work on an abandoned house and I thought I'd bring you along with me. Let's see. Immediately. Scarlet paper. Someone's not lived here for years. Paper on the windows. looks lived in. Oh my god. Some medication. Just different prescriptions from years ago and I don't know if the I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but there's um like creaks. Like the house is moving. <laughs> Which I know it isn't. It's everything. So empty. It's like it's all been hollowed out, like things used to be here but they're not anymore, and everything's just been like left. The, there's a well and a greenhouse and so much stuff. What? What are you doing here? I... What do you want? I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I'm a journalist. I don't know... I don't know what... I don't know why I'm here. I'm, I'm so sorry I scared you. Who are you? I'm oh, Lily. I'm not. I know you. You do? Yeah. I watch you on the television. Really? Wow. 
What? It's, it's just I, I spent so long trying to find anything out about who lived here and I, sh I couldn't find anything. And here you are. The whole time you knew me. Yeah, I guess I do know you. What do you want? It, it's, it's stupid, really. I, I was researching some stories and I found this, I found, I found your house. And I, I just, I was just so desperate. I didn't want to get stuck with the fucking dog show. I was just so sick of seeing Daniel get all the things that I work so hard for. Daniel Harrington? Yeah. Never liked him. Really? <laughs> he's, he's a prick. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. But he really is. He really is the worst. But, that's We always prefer you. We. Yeah, my mum and I. You watch it with your mum. We used to. But that's a long time ago. What, why, what happened? I'm sorry, you don't have to. She died. I'm really sorry. She was... Uh, she was really sick for a very long time. I can't even remember her being healthy, to be honest. Um, we never go on a holiday. We, she never came to watch a full stay, but it's all right. My dad just organized one for us in the garden. Eventually it got so bad that um, she couldn't leave the house, so I left you need to care for her. Um, it was basically just me and my mum sitting her all day long and I gave him her medicines and stuff. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Uh, could your dad not help out? He died when I was eight. What, so you were just all alone? Yeah, me and my mum. And so it's just me. Oh my god. What, so you, you, you just, just never go out? No, no. It's been way too long, I really can't. But maybe, maybe we could... No, no, I can't. I'm sorry. You're literally the first person that I've seen in a very long time. I really can't go out. I hate people outside though sometimes, but... It really freaks me out. Um, and every time I, I try to have a look outside, it just, my, my heart... I, Hey, Paul, oh, hey, no, no, it's okay. We don't have to do it right now. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Just try and control your breathing, okay? In and out. I, 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 want, I want to help you. Just control your breathing. I know that you can get better. We can do this together. Just in and out. There you go. I'm just really happy you're here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first Mental Health Monday. It is so important to open up the conversation about mental health. That is why I bring real people here to have a voice and to break the stigma. I didn't know until recently that things can be completely different from the outside and you never really know what someone is going through. 
No one deserves to be suffering in silence and everyone needs to know that it's okay to ask for help. So I'll be here every Monday. I'm Harper Campbell. See you soon. Good job, Harps. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. I loved your show. You did? I'm so glad you saw it. Yeah, it was it was amazing. You're going to help a lot of people with it. It's, it's all because of you, Lily. <laughs> You're still coming over later? Does it feel weird to say that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll head straight over after I'm finished up here. Okay. I can't wait to see you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Callers right now, it's insane. I, I think this is like the highest engagement we've ever had at this network.